Welcome to AEF TV. My name is Juan Diswan Dengendo. And I'm joined today by Emmanuel Antwi Dakwa, the CEO of Volta River Energy Authority. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Thank you very much, and thanks for the invitation. Can you tell us about the exciting projects that your organization um, is currently involved in? Well, that's, that's a good question. Um, we've been involved in quite a number of projects. We've been in existence for 60 years, so project development is really part of our our business, even though we, we, we operate uh, power plants as well. But in line with current trends and in line with government policy, we've been involved in the development of a lot of renewable projects, we've been involved in a number of um, hydro projects as well. You know, we operate the largest, uh, one of the largest hydro projects in Ghana, it's called the Akosum Budam. We also have a portfolio of about uh, a thousand megawatts of thermal projects, which is which is also significant, and then in the area of um, solar, we just started on our journey. So by the end of this year, we'll be doing about 50 megawatts of solar. We have in our portfolio development work on another 150 megawatts of wind. So we have quite a number of exciting projects that we are involved in as a company. But for Ghana as as a country. We also are involved in the West African Power Pool. It gives us the opportunity to export power. It gives us the opportunity to link up with our, our neighbors who do not have the resources that we have in terms of power generation. So we've been involved in transmission projects. We've been involved in trading in power across uh, borders. And, and so far, it's been good. So what do you think should be done by African governments, particularly in West Africa, um, to encourage uh, a conducive or to create uh, a conducive environment for investment? Yes, there's, there's an ongoing reform and there are a number of things that governments can do. Actually, if you really look into it, it varies from country to country. There's a certain perception of risk which also varies from country to country. But on the whole, in a broad sense, first place, there should be proper regulations. The investor coming in should know that contracts are sacrosanct, you respect contracts, the sanctity of law. Number two, the right incentives should be there to attract. They, not, they don't necessarily have to be uh, tax incentives, but in terms of stability of the economy, prices should continue to remain stable. The exchange rate should be also be stable. So the macroeconomic environment should be good. The third thing is to have some assurance that there's a market for, for the product. So if it is power, the demand has to be properly assessed so that you don't walk in with a plant and you don't have anybody to con uh, consume the power. The last but not the least that we really have to take a very, very good look at is how we create the environment for power to be exported to the various countries. Now, once you want to do that, and if you take West Africa with a population of over 300 million people, with, a, with, a, with an energy access rate, you know, those who have access to electricity, of less than 10%. It tells you that there's a whole market for electricity there. But in order to be able to do that, you've got to trade across the borders. Okay? If you don't set up utilities that are financially strong, utilities that work in a sector that is financially self-sustaining, then you can't get that. So you can't have those contracts which are commercially binding that would encourage the private investor to come in and sell power across the borders. So that's one of the things that have to be done. We have to have strong financial uh, sustainability for the power sectors as well as strong institutions to enforce the contracts. And your main objective uh, in attending the Africa Energy Forum, what is it? AEF is always a wonderful forum and this is my third time I would say of attending this. It's always been a good forum to be able to meet people with common and diverse ideas on how the power sector should proceed, or the energy sector to be, to be very broad. Number one, the networking opportunities are great. Number two, the, um, um, the sessions are also interesting, cutting edge, talking about the latest in project development, latest in financing, latest in regulation, and then latest in what governments want to do to attract private sector into their various economies. So there's a sharing experience that uh, you get from, from attending this. And in this particular case, in a beautiful city that, like Lisbon, there's everything to it. There's every reason to be here. Thank you so much, sir, for joining us. Thank you for thank having you so me. Much. Thank you. And thank you for watching AEF TV.